Hello Internet! Title update is released on August 23rd and it's amazing so let's go over the details of it. The update has given us Happy Cards Limited Edition which gives you a chance of obtaining the special armors and weapons they release. Now stickers cannot be used in these Happy Cards which sucks. Um, to access it you all you have to do is just press Y, the Y button on the menu and it'll just take you to that little, it has a nice decoration, it's special special design screen, different card pack, it's very nice and detailed, but uh, it will cost you 24 happy tickets and it ends on September 4th. Also there is two new buffs, Stun Crusher, which raises the level of damage to an enemy in stun state, and the Parameter Boost, which raises your attack power, magic attack power, defense power, magic defense power, guard power, and magic guard power. Whew, that sounds like a good buff right there. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded like, it sounded like that, but anyways, moving on. The Berserker also gets a new move, which is the Multiple Missile Skill. It's a team skill that launches Rocket Man for all participants at once, so things are going to get really chaotic once that skill is launched, so even more madness. I love it. Now let's move on. There is also going to be a Castle Defense mode, which will be coming out soon which is a new co-op mode where you must work together to defend your castle at all costs. This isn't the first time that Happy Wars has done this. In Chapter 5 of the Campaign Mode, we had to defend the castle from zombies. I'll be making a video about this once it comes out. Also, earning XP has gotten a lot easier now. You can now score every few seconds by damaging more than three enemies continuously around the enemy position. Damaging the enemy castle gate also results in a score and earn bonus points by destroying an enemy attempting to attack the flank. Now, let's get to the Ziffer class. Am I pronouncing that right? The class can be unlocked by completing the required quest, which can be found in the class and equipment section. I would tell you what that requirement is, but I already met it and it didn't give me that information, so I can't say that in this video. I'm sorry. Also, for those going for the Devil Achievement Slash Quest, using the Ziffer will still count as it is still part of the Mage class, so that's nice. As usual, by clicking the Ziffer class, you will be stripped of the items off your Mage character, so just equip them with the items you want for your Ziffer character to have. And there's no new item, no, no, nothing like the Berserker where you carry you know, two weapons, it's just pretty much the same items as the Mage before, so we just... Alright. Also, while playing in training mode, I only f discovered three new moves with this class. I'm sure there are more, but these are the three I found so far. Cyclone. Sends a cyclone forward to blast enemies. So this is pretty much like a little mini tornado. Well, actually, it's a cyclone. Well, that's exactly what it is, which is pretty cool. I actually like that move. Capture. It creates a space to draw the enemy, meaning they will be somewhat stuck in place and can be easily defeated. Cyclone Rush is a team skill which scatters foes by having a cyclone shield around you, which is pretty cool because you're covered in wind and the enemy is just staggering trying to get you, but they can't. I'm sure, you know, the exception is probably mages with their fireball or lightning or even the wind tag and ice, but it's still cool to have. It looks awesome. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe as I do news and updates on Happy Wars and will soon be doing a Happy Wars Guide series video. So if there are topics you want me to go over and help you out, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and this is Tommy from The Overshield, and I'll see you next time.